Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome to Urban Rider for a look at the best armoured motorcycle jeans. <laughs> Choosing the right armoured jeans might just be one of the most difficult gear purchases there is to make due to the sheer volume of products competing for your attention with varying purposes, varying materials, performance, price points and style. So we're going to strip things down in this review and hopefully it'll enable you to find the perfect jean for your riding needs. First up, the Resurgence Cafe Racer Skinny Jeans. Don't be put off by the name though, these are not a skinny jean, they are a slim fit. And they score top points across the board. Priced at £199, including market leading D3O armour in the knee and hip area, teamed up with a super strong Pekev lining that runs throughout the jean. These are true to size and they offer a well tailored slim fit that really gives nothing away to the fact that these are an armoured motorcycle jean, they're very understated. Available in the black that we have here, as well as the raw denim in the blue colour, these are some of the most comfortable and stylish jeans that we've ever tried on. The D3O armour is fantastic here, it's soft, it's slimline and it's malleable under normal circumstances but it hardens upon impact. It fits neatly into the velcro pockets inside of the jeans and that is really the only marginal downside to the cafe races is that in order to remove the armour the jeans need to come off which is a little bit more hassle. However if that is a real concern of yours then we have a solution. Enter the Knox Spencer jeans. These have cleverly incorporated a hidden YKK external zip on the inside of the knee areas, meaning that you can access the pockets to get the armor in and out without having to remove the jeans. And the point of a motorcycle jean after all is to remove the knee to have to change outfits to get on and off the bike. So these jeans fully achieve that goal. Priced at £160, including Knox's fantastic new Microlock 2 armour, which comes fitted in the knee and the hip areas included in that price. The Microlock armour performs better even than the market leading D3O across a wider temperature range, meaning that this could arguably be the best motorcycle armour on the market at present. The jeans are lined with genuine DuPont Kevlar throughout, which is tried and tested, making these reassuringly sturdy in the event of an off. Unfortunately though, Knox have got the sizing wrong here, so they come up one size too small. You need to go up a size from whatever it is you normally take. I am a 32, and in the video here I'm wearing the 32s. I can get in them, but it's a real struggle. But we wanted to keep the jean sizing that I'm in the same so you can compare them for illustrative purposes. But once you go up a size to adjust, there is nothing wrong at all with the overall tailoring of the fit. So if I'm in my 34s, they do fit very nicely. However, do note they are the Spencer skinny jeans. They are a genuine skinny fit here and that may not be to everybody's tastes. If you like the way that the armour functions in these jeans but perhaps want a more regular fit, go for the Richmond jeans that also are made by Knox. They have virtually all the same features but a more relaxed standard fit. The jeans all come in a 33 inch leg which is in between the small and the long legs you find from most brands which is quite a good solution and they can still be tailored up as necessary if you need to shorten the leg length. Taking things further still when it comes to the armour you get included with the jeans are the Revit Lombard 2s, our pick of Revit's fantastic new lineup. The Revit Lombard 2s come fitted with C Smart Red Dot Design Award winning armour included in the knee and the hip areas, and this is ridiculously slim. Now, although it is possible to remove it, you really don't need to. You can quite happily walk around all day in these jeans without really thinking about it. Now, for some people, that may be pushing things just a little bit too far, because we know that some of our customers do like to have a reassurance when it comes to the armour feeling like there's something robust there. But bear in mind, this is still fully CE approved to the same level and the same threshold as all the rest of the armor featured in the rest of the jeans in this video. There's no such discussion throughout the rest of the jean, which is arguably one of the more technically specced up out of those on the motorcycle market, despite retaining a comfortable, tailored, slim fit. The 12 ounce Cordura denim outer gives a really high level of abrasion resistance over and above the more standard, just plain denim outer you'll find on most motorcycle jeans. And this is backed up by Revit's fantastic in-house PWR abrasion resistance shield throughout beneath that outer layer. And this has a higher abrasion resistant time than even Kevlar itself. The jeans come in three different leg lengths, 32, 34, and 36. And waist sizes, you even get intermediate waist sizes available such as 31 and 33, meaning you can definitely get the correct size perfect for you. And the fit is true to size, so it's straightforward buying as well. Wearing an armoured motorcycle jean doesn't need to be left just for fair weather riding. Revit have developed the Orlando H2O, which as you have guessed it, is waterproof. And this is a great thing. It means you can use your jeans in a wider variety of riding conditions and it alleviates the need to carry a waterproof over trouser with you. 
The extra membrane, of course, makes things a little bit more clammy on those really warm days, so it slightly depends which part of the year your main focus for the use of your jeans is. But many manufacturers simply steer away altogether from waterproof jeans. It's hard enough as it is to make a good pair of standard armoured motorcycle jeans. Adding into the mix something like a waterproof membrane makes things really tricky. The jeans retain a single layered feel and they are very lightweight and natural feeling too. They've received a lot of positive feedback and they remain one of the most popular waterproof jeans on the market. Priced at £199 and that includes Revit's market leading C-Smart armour in the knee and the hips and also the same variety of options when it comes to sizing. These have been very, very popular. They do fit slightly large as well across the waist. You're talking an inch up so you may need to therefore slice down where those intermediate options are available. Moving along up the price range, we come to the Rocker collection. Here we have the Rocker Iron Selvage Raw, which is our pick from the bunch, but we could have easily chosen a number of others too. They've got some really great items this year. The Rocker jeans, in terms of value for money, you don't strictly get anything you won't find in the technical spec of some of the lesser expensive jeans we've featured so far. But what Rocker have achieved in the last few years is obtained a really devoted following who buy into their philosophy of buy once, buy right. The Rocker products use high-end fabrics and materials and everything is finished to a very high standard, meaning that this will last you a long amount of time. So it's more of an investment. At £299, these jeans are not stratospherically expensive, but it is somewhat intangible. You need to get up close to the jeans and see why it is that people have bought into them so much. Scholler Dynatech is the fabric of choice, giving you the high levels of abrasion resistance that you need. And this is a selvage denim jean. Much like the Cafe Racers, this is a premium quality denim, which has that lovely slim fit to it as well. Sadly, armor is not included in the price that the Iron Selvage Raw are offered at. Rocker do take a somewhat inconsistent and confusing approach to the armour offered with their jeans. Some products come with it and other models don't. In the case of the Iron Selvage, what you get is their characteristic wonderful display box, which you're probably just gonna throw away, and a free t-shirt, which you probably didn't know about and it may or may not fit you, of course. So it's a bit silly because the rest of the jean, the product itself is so fantastic that Rocker, we hope if you're listening, you'll listen to our feedback and our customers and just give people some D3 knee armor included in the price. So it's available as an optional upsell, but you'd really like it to come with it in an ideal world. In terms of really drilling down into the nature of CE approval and these jeans on offer, well, it's an area that is increasingly confusing and frankly, it warrants its own very boring dedicated video review, which no one's gonna watch. So to try and condense things somewhat, you get the CE approved armor fitted in the jeans that we have showed you, and this can be removed in most instances, and that means that you're left with just very abrasion resistance jeans. Now, all of the jeans on offer here are fit for purpose and they are very high quality. However, they in and of themselves are not CE approved. It is possible to find CE approved jeans, but they're a bit of an oxymoron. They don't really do what a motorcycle jean is supposed to do, and they feel like heavy pieces of chainmail, incredibly thick and cumbersome. And for us, they're a bit of a non-starter, so we don't even offer them. You can find jeans that offer something of a middle ground. Saints Model 1 Unbreakable jean here, for example, uses a CE approved fabric throughout. So the jean itself in its final form is not a CE approved product, but the fabric is, and that's one step up. So can be very confusing as we said, but what you're really getting here is an alternative to a denim outer. This is a ultra high molecular weight polyurethane fabric, which is very, very highly abrasion resistant and it's also very light. The Model 1 jean that we have here is single layered and this is really interesting. The ultimate goal of course for a riding jean is to be as much like your regular jean as possible whilst not sacrificing at all on the technical capabilities you need. And a single layer jean really achieves that. It's very lightweight, despite being incredibly strong. Most of the other jeans that we see featured feature some kind of a denim outer backed up with an abrasion resistant liner. That's not the case here, and that's a step forward. So Saint have done a really great job. I love the styling of these jeans. They fit true to size. This is my pair and I've been using them extensively and I can definitely vouch for their quality. So whilst they're somewhat more expensive than some of the other jeans on offer, they're not ridiculously so and they will last you a long time. There's no degradation in the fabric like you get with normal denim and for a lot of people that means that these are a really good investment and they are reassuringly protective in the way that they feel as well. Feeling slightly different, more of a workwear style to the normal denim. Now we've shown you what we believe to be our pick of the finest motorcycle riding jeans on offer in the world. It's possible, of course, you may not be impressed and you haven't found anything yet that takes your fancy. And if that's the case, there's still a solution for you. 
A particular BMW mechanic from Germany found himself in your exact situation and couldn't find anything that he wanted to buy to wear on his bike in terms of armored jeans. So he decided to develop his own product, the Botex Kevlar Leggings. These are essentially using the same DuPont Kevlar fabric, but incorporating it into a legging that is worn as an underlayer to go under your regular pair of jeans, meaning that you can wear your favorite jeans without the need to sacrifice on protection. They can also incorporate D3O armor as well as Botex's own in-house armor as well as an option. So these can provide you with abrasion resistance and impact protection, just like a regular pair of jeans. So we really hope that you found this review useful. All of the products featured here have more in-depth analysis in their own dedicated video reviews, which you can check out on the product pages at urbanrider.co.uk. And as always, we love hearing from you guys. If you've got any opinions on the stuff we featured, anything you think we've missed, or any questions at all, do let us know. And stay tuned because we'll be bringing you more of the world's finest motorcycle riding gear very shortly. So see you then. Thank you. Goodbye.